I can't be everywhere. I'm not God. God can be everywhere. If I was everywhere, then my Lord. <laughs> there would be such terror. I was laying on the false prophets. I want to work on false prophecies today. And I'm pretty sure there's many that are here and that are watching can identify somebody been prophesied to and it wasn't nothing to it. Give me 1 Peter chapter 4. Let's start there. 1 Peter chapter 4. You turn Williams up now because he's not feeling good and I don't want him to have to strain. You can give him a lot of juice and you can boost my big mouth up as also. Amen. All right. 1 Peter 4.11, I believe that's what I want. That's what you want, Pastor. All right, let's have it. 1 Peter chapter 4 and at verse 11. Yes. If any man speak. Glory to God. If any man speak, let him speak, let him speak as the oracles of God, as the oracles of God. If any man minister, any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth. God's oracles. That's it. What is oracles? When the spirit of God speak. The oracle will be that which stands between the spirit and the people. That's right. God speak through that oracle that he may relate it to the people. That's it. In this case, it's the scriptures. Mm -hmm. The oracles, oracles that got the prophets That's right. and that got the apostles. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Oracle, singular, is equal to mediator. Mm -hmm. That which stand between God and man, and God speak through the mediator to get to the people. That's right. But when you say oracles, Oracle. plural, that got all the holy prophets. That's right. That got all the holy apostles. Mm -hmm. So God used the scriptures. To talk to us and tell the Apostle Paul said, God make manifest his word through preaching. Through preaching. Through preaching. Nobody's preaching, get me. <laughs> Unless he preached the word. That's right. And he's anointed to preach the word. That's right. <clears throat> Otherwise, in that, it's a boring <laughs> lecture That's all. of hollering, screaming, noise, noise. no anointing. And if there's no anointing, he's not being used of God. That's right. He's just telling you what he remember. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Do you hear the son of man talking? In St. Luke chapter 4 and at verse 18. The spirit of the Lord. Of the Lord. Is upon me. You see the spirit of God was upon the son of God. Showing you the example. How the spirit of God must be upon the church. That's right. Son of God was a body, many members, one body. God's church had many members, one people, one body, one church. That's it. Listen. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Yes. Because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel uh -huh. to the poor. To the poor. He hath sent me to heal the broken yeah, heart. Yeah, that poor is twofold. To the poor. Them that don't have much. And them that are poor in the spirit to build them up. That's right. What else? He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Heal them. To preach to yeah, them. Yeah. Wait just a minute now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't sound like you're all that sick. <laughs> heal them. That's it. You know many folks heart is broken. Jesus said broken. let not your heart be troubled. That's right. If you believe in God. Hallelujah. And God believe also in me. Right there. The carnal mind say you see there. That's two of them right there. 
Right. No, that's two natures. That's two natures. Believe in God, believe in the Spirit. That's it. Believe also in me, believe in the Son of Man. That's it. Because he said, no man come to the Father, but by me. By me. That's right. Do you see how plain it is? That's right. Get this now. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted. You know, heal means to deliver. <clears throat> Everybody heart, some way, somehow, yeah. need deliverance from something. Oh, yes. Because there was some kind of experience that affects your heart oh, yes. for the worse. Yeah. And nobody can heal your heart like God can. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Hear me, God? He had sent me to heal the broken heart. Now, God make a preacher. And God gives the preacher healing message. That's right. This is my medicine chest here. Oh, yes. Bind up your heart. Wrap it up. Yes. Heal it. Healing also means deliverance. That's right. So somewhere within your emotional state of being, you need deliverance, freedom, healing. Are you listening? That's right. I want to take it apart, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. He had sent me to heal the broken heart. You've got to be sent to Sick. heal broken hearted people. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. That's right. Everybody Hallelujah. don't have the know-how. Hallelujah. Let's bring it down to the natural. Hallelujah. You know, when you do heart surgery, the heart surgeon is not an ankle surgeon. No. Not a hand surgeon. He's a heart specialist. That's right. Sometimes the heart specialist wear a light right. on his head. So he can look at the place and get a brighter perspective. He don't want to work in the dark because he's working on something delicate. That's right. And he have to know how to handle the heart because it's a lot of sensitivity there. That's, right. That's where the emotions lie. He can't handle the emotions, but he can handle the muscle. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. When he cut, he never touched. The emotions. Glory to God, but when he cut, he can cut the muscle. That's right. He can unclog the artery. Many preachers lack biblical surgical skill. That's right. Because this is a two-edged sword. Oh yes. And you must know how to handle the heart, the mind, the body, the soul, these delicate things. Rightfully. That's right. If you're not sent, then you must go to medical school. <laughs> That's right. And be taught by a chief surgeon how to handle God's people. That's right. There's more than standing up here quoting from the Bible. Oh, yes. There's hearts. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hearts being handled. That's right. Mind being handled. Soul being handled. That's right. Subconscious thoughts being handled. That's right. So you have to be taught line upon line. Yeah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Precept mm. upon Hallelujah. precept. So the preacher, like the chief surgeon, yeah. who wears the light on the head. Yeah. The preacher have to have the light of God. That's right. Not on the head, but in the head. That's right. So he can see clearly. Because everybody, heart, glory to God, differs Difference. from the other. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Come on, son. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Heal them. To deliver them. Mm -hmm. Free them. That's it. Some people is in an emotional trap. Don't want to let go. <clears throat> Don't know how to let go. That's right. But when the word of God start cutting there. Yeah. The word of God come to cut and remove out of the heart. 
which hinders the soul. That's right. Did you hear what I just said? That's right. To better understand it, if the arteries are clogged to the heart, sometimes it hinders the full operation of the body. That's true. Are you listening? That's true. If your heart is emotionally cluttered yeah. with junk, Amen. it hinders the full function, the full operation of the soul, temple, body, tabernacle, earthly house. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Come on, son. Let's have it here. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted. To preach deliverance to the captives. Preach freedom. Amen. To them that are in bondage. And recovering of sight to the blind. And give people understanding. That's it. Did you get me? That's it. See, when you give sight to the blind, <laughs> that's twofold. Amen. God can open your blinded eyes naturally. But when you're brought out of darkness and to the marvelous light of the gospel, he gave insight to the blind. He gave vision to them that are mentally blind. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Let's add it. And recovering of sight to the blind. Yes. To set at liberty them that are bruised. <laughs> now many of us was Bruised. Bruised. By some lying prophet. That's right. Some lying prophet. Am I right, I said? That's right. <laughs> now, viewers, I want you to get this and you that are here. Mm -hmm. Prophecy that comes from God, it just has to come to pass. Have to. Now, one word will fall to the ground. That's right. I said not one. That's right. Because God can't lie. No. When God said something, doesn't matter who come after God. That's right. God word will stand forever. That's right. And ever. So shall my word be. Hear, hear this. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, and at verse 11. I want to take my time and soak you good. <laughs> Amen. All right. Isaiah 55 and at verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. So shall my word. My word. Amen. So shall my word be that, that goeth, goeth forth out of my mouth. Not our mouths. <laughs> out of my mouth. All I need is one God to talk here. That's right. That's right. Did you hear this? So, so shall, shall my word be, my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. That come out of my mouth. It shall not it return shall unto me void. Not turn unto me void, but what? But it shall accomplish that which I please. Do you hear this? And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Now, who are you gonna believe? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's why. I'm so confident this afternoon. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. Not feeling the best, but they haven't touched my confidence. Amen. Amen. God's word is sure, sure, certain. This is how you can tell. Give me uh, Lamentations 337. Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 37. There, I believe that's what I want there. I want to break this up so good <laughs> until I send the false prophets on the run. On the run. <laughs> that's right. Got them ducking and hiding. Hear me good now. I don't care if the preacher baptized you right. That's right. I don't care if he had the Holy Ghost and some of you. That's right. Listen at what the prophet about to say here. Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 37. What is it, Will? Who is he that Who saith? Who is he that saith? And it cometh to pass. And it happens. When the Lord. When the Lord. Commandeth it not. He ain't said nothing. That's right. That's right. Who's talking through you? Who? I don't care how much you shake and go in some tongue. 
If you do an Indian rain, dan rain dance and the clouds form all around your ankles. <laughs> Amen. The Lord ain't said nothing, ain't paying you no mind. That's right. Viewers, get this. Many people prophesy out of feeling. Right. Hatred, anger, or try to put fear upon you. That's right. I believe when I got sick with pneumonia before I went to Europe for the first combined European conference, which was uh, September of this year, I think I got pneumonia in the summertime. July, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Or June. <laughs> Word got to me that a false apostle, <laughs> you know, because they put it on the internet, they, all, they, they always make it extreme with me. Extreme. <laughs> That's right. He's gravely ill. He's about to die. Look at your watch. It's a countdown. My Lord, my Lord. All type of fake pictures. My Lord. So I was told some phony fraud <laughs> apostle heard that I was ill and he told the people that the Lord told him. Mm. That Pastor Gino <laughs> Nicolius Jennings will never, ever preach again. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Ask that devil so far out of hell. What was that? Wishful thinking. Wishful thinking. Some men prophesy out of hatred. And like my brother, Brother Joseph just said, jealousy. jealousy. They do. That's yeah. true. They are jealous of your success. They are jealous of what is happening. Yeah. So therefore, they prophesy to people to try to make themselves look more spiritual than you, but yet you're not competing with them. That's right. You fellas prophesy. Listen, let me make this clear. I don't even care you exist. <laughs> That's right. This is how little I think of you. Think of you. That's right. I respect the ants <laughs> that make a hill and labor in the summer. Amen. I, I, I don't even I don't even regard you at all. That's right. I'd rather look at a clown juggle. Amen. <laughs> think of it. Think of Imagine. I got it in for Kev so bad. My Lord. Every time I come to the people, God showed me something. It's about Kev. Mm. Every dream I have, Kevin. Every prophecy I have, Kevin. <laughs> Every voice I hear from God, Kevin, 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 Kevin. My Lord. Every time, Kevin. That's obsession, jealousy, prophecy out of anger. Hatred and never of God. That's right. That's right. You that prophesied that I would never preach again. Let me show you why I am like I am. You see, I came out of deep rooted darkness. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And when I came from the womb of falsehood, my head came out first. Amen. God liberated my mind. That's right. The rest of me had a struggle. Hallelujah. Glory. The rest of me had a struggle. Yeah. But I came out oh, yes. being guided by the hands of the Most High. That's right. Before I came out, I went through the phase of being on the receiving end of prophecy out of anger, hatred, and jealousy. That's right. These are all fear tactics. You that are listening in and you that are here, whatever church you're in came from, have you ever experienced before you leave, the preacher see you leaving and come up with a prophecy? Yeah. If you leave, you're going to drop dead. Amen. If you leave, you're going to turn to a rabbit. <laughs> if you leave, your house going to burn down. Your children going to die. Your wife going to die. All of that. All of that. When I was in falsehood, I was on the receiving end of countless 
of man-made hell-deserving prophecies. That's right. If I did not know God. Amen. That's why we teach you about God and the ways of God and the characteristics of God so you don't be duped by somebody else, more importantly, yourself. That's right. Amen. The false prophet I was under, I was gonna, I was gonna get married, of course. I, I didn't want him to marry me. I told my wife Dottie, I said, I don't want him to marry me. I want my father to marry me. But he, she said, he is the pastor. I don't care what he is, I told her. <laughs> he got up, spoke the prophesy. Mm -hmm. If you get married, yeah. I pray you drop dead at the altar. He said, if you do get married, your wife will lay around sick and will never have no children. Yeah. Listen, man, I done went around seven times. <laughs> That's right. I got seven. That's right. But he supposed to prophesy she would never have one child. My Lord, my Lord. My wife got worked up. I said, listen, you, you listen to me. She said, but he's the pastor. I said, I don't care if he's the devil. Why the hell? <laughs> Hear me. God deals with me. Mm -hmm. Just follow my lead. And I lead you right. That's right. So she rests on. I'm in my teens, man. That's right. My experience with God started in my early teens. Yeah. For I was 15 when the Lord first appeared to me. Amen. On the second day of my first three day and three night fast. Then in my teens later, I fast seven days. And seven nights that I may familiarize myself with the Most High. That's right. Then he led me again. I went on a seven day and seven night fast several times. And then he led me 12 days. That's right. And 12 nights. I'm in my teens going into my early 20s. Yeah. Not eating one meal a day. So he made me immune Amen. to false prophecies. Yes. I don't care how much they shake when they give them. Uh, 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 hey, 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 hey. Doing the boogaloo. That's right. <laughs> that phase of my walk with God, I done been through already. That's right. Prophecy out of anger. That means the preacher don't like what you've done so bad. That's right. He will lie on God, on God. to make you think he's so divine. Yes. He's such a divine leader. Yeah. But his fear for God is so low that he will blaspheme. That's right. Listen at what Lamentation said. Who is he that say? Who is he? Who is he that say? That say, and, and it, it comes to, to pass, pass when, the, when Lord the Lord commandeth it not. Said nothing. That's right. That's right. I want to hit hard, good. Hit hard. Yeah. Hit hard. Right. I think of how one false prophet said the Lord told him, hmm. there's no more first church. The Lord showed him in a vision. Oh. I was in a white limousine Cadillac with seven to eight fags. <laughs> and here I don't even like white cars. Amen. But I got to tolerate it. I tell him, but I don't like no white cars. And I hate limousines. Amen. Give me a 1936 Pierce Arrow, a 1940 Lincoln two-door coupe. Give me that. I want no limousine, man. <laughs> when you prophesy out of feeling, out of, feeling. Out of emotion, yeah. out of hatred. That's right. And then, regardless whether you're man or woman, and says, thus saith the Lord. The Lord. And the Lord said nothing. Mm -hmm. You are a living, breathing blasphemer. That's right. 
That's why I would never tell nobody nothing if God didn't say it. That's right. God didn't say it. I ain't trying to prove nothing to you. No. Men tried to, like, when Trump was running for president mm -hmm. against Biden, do you see the evangelical lunatics? <laughs> How the spirit of error. John said, hereby know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. The spirit of error fell upon the whole evangelical organization. Yes, it did. Angels in Africa, angels in Italy. Angel, I didn't know angels live in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> prophesying airplanes, prophesying jets. Man, if you want an airplane, get a job and go to work and buy one. That's it. That's it. When the Lord say anything. Who is he that saith? It's guaranteed to be what God said for not one word. That's right. Will fall, fall to, the the ground. to the ground. I know this to be true. That's why I can boast about the things that God showed me concerning the church and then you witness it. That's right. And you keep witnessing over and over and over and over and over. So this jealous spin that's falling on the prophecies, false prophets, they're saying, well, that's a farce. Maybe that's, maybe that's just, that was just, you know, something crazy that happened. 100 people got baptized. It won't happen again. Go somewhere, 150. Well, it's just something that happened. 200. That's right. 250. Two weeks time, 1,300. Amen. Two weeks time, 900. Yeah. One week time, 300. Oh, yes. There ain't no farce here. Oh, no. No way. If God is not speaking That's it. through the prophet, the prophet, give me Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 18. Begin at verse 20. And we're at verse 20. Glory to God. But the prophet which shall presume. The prophet that shall presume. To speak a word in my name. That shall presume to speak a word in my name. Which I have not commanded which him to I speak. I have not authorized him to say. Or that shall speak in the name of other gods. Or the moment a man believe in more than one God. That's right. And try to prophesy, don't pay him no mind. That's right. Because he's coming in the name of other gods. Other gods. Hear this. But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name. Yes. Which I have not commanded him to speak. Uh -huh. Or that shall speak in the name of other gods. Yes. Even that prophet shall die. That prophet. Now I believe what God said. Oh yes. They said, I'm going to die. <laughs> Amen. If it's God's will. Mm -hmm. I would never preach again. Can you imagine that? And something. God ain't ready for that to happen yet. No. Psh, sorry. <laughs> That's right. I did it. I'm like a thorn in their side. That's true. So bad. They wish I was dead. When the broadcast, when they hijacked our YouTube station channel, took it off the air. False prophets were saying, you see there? That's God will. Mm. God took them off. No mm. They're what we're back for. <laughs> That's right. Be slow. Be slow. Very slow. Oh, yes. To say, thus saith the Lord. The Lord. I don't care how many tongues you go in. <laughs> I don't care how much jumping you do. That's right. How much shouting. You see, one of the greatest things that can happen is when God delivers you out of falsehood, but you learn while you're there. Oh, yeah. Yes, you do. Oh, yes. You learn. And then when you come walk with truth, now you got a better vision. In some ways, you got a better vision than some that have been in the truth all their life. Because there are some things they never saw and never experienced and they can't properly identify. That's right. God had brought me out of darkness, but while I was there, I saw a whole lot. A whole lot. Over to God. Amen. Where I can point out, that's God. That's God. Uh, that's not God. That's I can right. point it out now. That's right. 
That's right. Why my experience That's it. with God have enabled me to be able to say that's God, that's, right. that's not God. Look at Elijah on the mountain. That's right. Amen. He said the Lord going to pass by. Pass by. Rocks rent. Wind blew. Wind blew. Fire came down. But he said, God is not in it. Not in it. But when that voice started talking to him, yeah. Hallelujah to God. Oh, yes. That small, stale voice, oh, voice. He knew that was God. God. That's right. Experience with God will make you to differentiate. Recognize right. what's God, what's not God, and you'll see past the hype. Oh, yes. You'll see past the emotion. Oh, yes. Look past the emotion. Look past the hype. And look at God. That's it. That's right. Hallelujah. Go and take God. That's right. That's right. Look at God. How am I going to see God? I'm going to look at the scriptures. That's it. That's right. I'm going to look at God from what's written here. That's it. He that believeth on me, he said, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of rivers of living water. That's right. That's how we look at God. That's it. I don't care how much Bible a man quote. He can quote the Bible till he fall out. When a thing is not the Pope quote Bible. Yeah. That's right. 